Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of Advice for Your Besties. Woo! It's where we take your questions and we try to give you advice. <laughs> Actually, Godspeed. <laughs> I've never heard that out of your mouth, but I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. okay, so first question. My Tinder date ghosted me and then added me on LinkedIn and offered me a job. Should I accept the job or ghost him? Mm, well, do you need the job? Do you want the job? And do you want to be working with someone who ghosted you? Yeah, I guess I don't know. Okay, so he ghosted. This is my take on the ghosting. He ghosted because he saw that you were a night. It would be better to have you as a potential candidate than to have maybe what more than likely was going to be a short term relationship. If you look at the statistics in which you're going to have a very long, fulfilling relationship on Tinder. So he actually saw more value in you. And rather than muddy the waters by initiating anything. You abruptly like put the corporate hat on that way like hr could never find its way and that this was clean and severed or maybe you can start dating when you work together ew <laughs> <laughs> i can't believe i said ew <laughs> yeah okay he wanted you as an employee so do you want to ghost him well i don't know don't you want a job yeah it's hard to get a job. Take what you can get. <laughs> Jesus, you're so ungrateful. <laughs> All right, now what? Okay. Wait, that was last episode. <laughs> what are your beige flags? I don't know what that means. A beige flag is basically a quirk. Like something where it's like, that's kind of weird, but I don't know if that's like an ick or not. So, for example, this is a beige flag of mine. When I listen to the radio or turn up the volume on something, it can never be on 13. It can only be on like 12 or 14. Or Weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> How did I not know that about you? I don't know. That's adorable. Yeah, but it can never be on 13. Okay. I won't touch the volume. <laughs> what if I put it on 13? I'll change it. Fine. What's mine? Because um, I can't really give you an example. I don't really know. Well, let's see. A quirk of yours? Hmm. I would say, I don't know, what's something that you think you do that most people don't do? I have no idea. This is, seems like a deep question. <laughs> I'll figure something out. Anyway, do I have any quirks? Like, do I, what was the question? What are your... What, what are your beige flags? Like my personal or for others? Your personal. I still don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> or for others. Hi. Okay. What's yours? What was your answer? I said that this is my weird thing that I don't like the volume on 13 and I'll change it every single time. Can we circle back to me? Mm -hmm. This seems like a heavy one. No. Do this I have is just like, it's not heavy at all. Okay. When I have like a boba bar with my, <laughs> <laughs> with my cappuccino, it's usually a latte at this point, I will like take one bite of the thing of the bar. And then also take a sip of coffee so I can chew with the bar and the coffee in the same um, bite. That is definitely a beige flag. <laughs> <laughs> you nailed the assignment. Yeah, shit like that. <laughs> in which case, I have so many. <laughs> Are your beige flag is like... <laughs> You're in a, you're, this is your beige flag, <laughs> is that you are in this outfit right now. We're going to go get smoothies afterwards and you're going to change your outfit one to two times at <laughs> least and then the shoes and like come back again and like change the outfit again and then maybe even end up back in the same outfit that you started. <laughs> <laughs> you and my dogs yeah. and my roommate. Yeah. <laughs> maybe my mom. <laughs> if you've ever gotten dressed with me, you know these. Yeah. <laughs> ha 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 ha. <laughs> It's just a quirk. You know what else is a quirk? What? I repeat the same fucking things all the time. Oh. <laughs> and I don't even know it. What do you mean? Oh, oh ski racks are so sexy. <laughs> You're like, I know. You told me last year. And I was like, what? Yeah. Well, I'm AI as well. 
So no, I literally so say the same shit over and over. Every time we go by Rappo, I'm like trauma camp. Oh my god, <laughs> I have to go trauma landmine. I would like literally say the same things over and over again. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> I, I feel like I probably do the same thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway. You know what the nicest thing I've, I've heard hmm. is my friend Ken and I are going hiking mm-hmm. that Maroon Bell's four pass loop. Doesn't really roll off the tongue. Anyway, I was like, Ken, are you sure? Are you sure you can listen to me yammer on for four days? <laughs> <laughs> you just said on the last episode, you're like, I wish I knew when to stop talking. <laughs> I also said I could talk my <laughs> face off with you and Ken. So I said to him, are you prepared? <laughs> like, do you really think I need you to be honest with yourself? Do you really think you could stand being with me for four days? And he's like, Chelsea, I can handle it. <laughs> At some point, you might run out of things to say. <laughs> Look at this leaf on the ground. It looks like my dog, Butch. <laughs> I miss Butch, don't you? I just want to lick his little nip. <laughs> well, let me tell you about Butch. <laughs> He's so cute. You know what I did the other day? <laughs> hey, I have a question for you. Yeah. This New York City trend. Mm-hmm. I always try and I align myself with New York City trends. How do you feel about nipping out? Nipping? I, I don't mind it, but like me personally, I feel a little uncomfortable nipping out when it's like the middle of the day and running errands to Target or something. Like that seems a little excessive going out at night. That's when you're comfortable with it? No, not at Target. I said, go. that's not when I'm comfortable with it. You mean to tell me you're comfortable with nipping out at night? Like, yeah. Like, if I'm going, like, I don't care if it's at night because I'm probably going out to do something. And I'm pr- maybe I'm wearing, like, a shirt where I can't wear a bra. So then it's like, okay. That is when you're okay with nipping out? Uh-huh. I mean, what? I'm all, like, oh, I'm tough talk. Like, I'm okay with nipping out. I'm running errands. And then, like, if you get me into, like, a nightclub. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <What? laughs> yeah. Although I want to be. I used to love that look. Oh my gosh, that is so backwards. I know. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if I think it's backwards. Yeah, no, I'm like, I mean, I guess, and I also don't care early on in the morning. Like, I'll take Layla out and I'll just throw on a sweatshirt or like a shirt, like no bra. That's not the same totally thing. Totally nipping out. You're not visibly nipping out. Sometimes. Hmm. It depends. And I'm like, well, whatever. It's early in the day. So we're both like, we wish, we, do you wish you could be a full nipper outer? No, because like, I also don't like it when I'm working out and I'm nipping out. I'm like, oh, that's very distracting. Yeah, very distracting. Ew. I'm like, Ugh, I don't like that. It's so familiar. yeah, you know, I guess the less people that see me nipping out. I think out, it is better. a New York City thing, right? Because like, you're wearing like blouses mm-hmm. that are unbuttoned and like, it just seems not like that would, that would be something I would wear in New York City. <laughs> And they wear less makeup, by the way. Yep. They do the no makeup makeup. So, no red lips. It's not too late for me to change. And, and then less contour. <laughs> okay, <More> already. <laughs> and less the tease, and less Botox, and less... <laughs> no, I think they still do Botox. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> what are your thoughts on sad fishing? You know, know what sad fishing is? Nope. It's when something happens to you and your first thought is to go to Instagram and be like, oh my, God, my life is falling apart. Ooh, I don't do that. I don't do that. I know. So what are your thoughts on it? I'm not saying you do that. Oh. I fucking hate it. Okay. <laughs> it's like. I'm listening. It's so cringe. Like, I don't want to see you crying. I don't want to see your reaction to like whatever sad news came to you. What do you mean by cringe? I want you to describe, like, like what it is gives cringe? Me a visceral body, like, ugh, like a yuck. Okay, I know, but what's thinking feeling. in your head? Like, what makes it cringe? That like seeing people cry makes it cringe. Seeing people cry normally, like making a whole post about you crying, and like showing you crying, like a video of you crying. Because you don't like to see her. Like, would you be okay with her telling you what yeah. she's struggling with? Uh huh. But you don't like to witness crying because it makes you feel. It just seems like it's excessive. Do you think that they're doing it intentionally? Mm-hmm. Like this isn't just like, I'm really crying. No, I think 
it's intentional because if when I have something bad happen to me, my first thought isn't like, I must go on Instagram and share this. I must record this. So then maybe that's the ick feel right there. Yeah. Is that like that you're programmed to want to share like deep sadness Mm -hmm. with your followers and you're like, oh, okay. (laughs) <laughs> yeah you have crossed over friend you are officially like one of those because like we all become one of that mm-hmm. one way or another but you know you're really really bad and you're in like the the throes of instagram addictive like addiction yeah. is when you are feeling moved to tears legitimately mm-hmm. and the only thing you can think to do is like <laughs> take a video of yourself yeah because and share it like you could I, share it, but no, they want, you know what, they've been triggered through condition. This is, I'm sensing a, a feeling or a, like emotion of some sort mm-hmm. that it it doesn't matter that the fact that it's, they're crying. They're so used to being so vulnerable and so exposed that like, wh- why not? Right. So all you're saying is like that they, <laughs> these poor kids are like, have been programmed actually. <laughs> I mean... Think about it like that. It's super yeah. sad that they are so like, because who are they? Do they have a big follow? I mean, they're really leaving it on the dance floor. They're by doing it all. <laughs> they're leaving it on the dance floor and then some. And I understand like we all don't want to see the highlight reel all the time. We want to see real life and hear about real life. But like no one likes to see crying. No, unless you're a spouse. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay my bills, bitch. <laughs> Come on. I don't know. I don't seem to. I don't. I just scroll right past it. And I'm like, you, you look ugly. Don't well, do I do scroll right past it, too. And I'm just like, you, I had to look at that for like two seconds. <laughs> it just it it doesn't seem like it's an appropriate place. for Agreed. Well, that's all my questions that I have. Oh, actually, this is just one other question for you. Jennifer Aniston just posted a video promoting her hair care line and she was letting her gray hairs peek out. And everyone's like, oh, my God. She's aging gracefully. She's showing off her gray hairs. What are your thoughts on showing off your gray hairs? I'm not down with it, personally. I don't love it. I don't love it. I have so many of them. They're kind of like sporadic up here, and I can't stand it. I think if you're blonde and a couple grays peek through, it's like, okay. Okay, bad. It's not that I'm... I, I need to clarify here. It's not that I think it looks visually unattractive. What I'm not supporting is, oh, and another one bites the dust Mm. i'm not ready for my childhood idol to now be an old lady i'm mourning the loss of jennifer aniston as i knew her in friends Mm -hmm. so of course it's okay to like let your hair go gray but you know what i mean it's gonna be a sad day when 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 gwyneth does it or when reese does it Mm -hmm. because like that's how old we are like our things are letting themselves go <laughs> so I'm what the fuck for that either i know right yeah so what we're the only ones leading ourselves <laughs> and then like and then when is it t- our time to drop off i want everyone to stay young and pretty <laughs> and if you just got pretty recently <laughs> then i want to stay here as long as fucking possible okay <laughs> all right well those are all of our questions so make sure <laughs> a you lot send, of answers a lot of answers make sure you're sending your questions to us on instagram at so fired pod send us a dm and share this episode with your bestie and we'll see you next time bye, bye. disclaimer This podcast is for entertainment purposes only. The stories and statements expressed herein are experiences and opinions. They may not represent the views of the production studio or the hosts. If you disagree with our content, that's okay. No podcast is perfect for everyone.